Hello from Sycamore Ridge. I'm Kira. I'm Cole. And I'm Sneha. We're sixth graders at Sycamore Ridge School. We are here to tell you about the weeks of WOW that have been happening at our school this year. Teachers and students have all been working hard, and we're excited to share some of our WOW moments with you. Enjoy our show! Kindergartners have been exploring how weather and seasons affect us. They discovered what, their, what season their birthday fell in and collaborated to create season charts. They researched how people dress and what kinds of things people do during different seasons. Next, the kindergartners explored weather. They thought about how weather affects people, animals, and the environment. They became weather detectives by creating wind socks, monitoring the wind over several days. Additionally, they explored how to stay safe in stormy weather. Partners created safety books to give information about how to stay safe in different kinds of weather. Finally, students created watercolor resist using oil pastels to visually represent their thinking about stormy weather. Sycamore Ridge first graders have been very busy studying the science of sound. Sound is one of the new NGSS standards, and our kids have been all ears learning about pitch, volume, vibration, and so much more. Our first graders have gone through the full design thinking process to create instruments out of recycled materials. Each class is in the process of selecting one instrument type to build out a prototype, which will be sent to the Rady Children's Hospital. The children there will use and enjoy the new instruments through their music therapy. It's been wonderful to have a real world connection to what we have been learning. Sound science in first grade has been music to our ears. During their study of matter, second graders at Sycamore Ridge explored the different properties of materials used for clothing. The students had to test materials for softness, absorbency, and stiffness. In the activity, students selected materials best suited to construct a hat that protected them from the sun. Look at their awesome creations. Recently, third graders from Sycamore Ridge Elementary School arrived at the San Alejo Lagoon prepared to make observations and ask questions regarding the health of the lagoon and information provided by docents. Students returned to the classroom filled with empathy and curiosity, ready to conduct further research to understand the specific needs of lagoon organisms, and were empowered to design solutions to maintain a healthy lagoon. Individuals and small groups developed solution prototypes based on student strengths and interests and entered a feedback and revision cycle involving grade level and sixth grader peers. An exhibition was held to share the learning and solution with second grade students who were dazzled by the presentation of skits, songs, works of art, digital media, and physical models. Fourth graders worked on a design thinking project as a part of their science class. A filmmaker who had made a movie about a man who was homeless in San Diego was invited to show a version of his documentary to, his, to the students. When he came to show the film, the man without a home, who was featured in the film, came with him. The students had a question and answer session with the two men. Students soon developed empathy for people without homes. After seeing the film and answering questions, the need was determined that people who are housing insecure needed a way to keep their cell phone charged. Fourth graders set about a variety of ways that they could create designs to address this need. They worked in design teams, ideated and created prototypes for their ideas of how to keep cell phones charged. Students met with other design teams to provide feedback and then took that feedback and revised their designs. The innovative students were able to address a complex problem facing many San Diegans and developed empathy for people without homes along the way. The innovative fifth graders challenged themselves to better the world through the 3M Young Scientist Challenge. Driven by compassion and empathy, students defined a need in the genre of safety, healthcare, transportation, manufacturing, or energy. The curious-minded problem solvers then researched, analyzed, and synthesized ideas into new innovations. With increased global knowledge, students worked toward prototyping and effective communication in a two-minute video. In the end, they each hoped to improve human life and our planet. 
Sixth grade students, teachers, and the STEAM Plus team worked on a design thinking challenge to see how we might reduce our impact on the environment at lunch. Students began by researching videos on garbage dumps in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. To further understand and gain empathy about the lunch process, they interviewed all the stakeholders involved parents, students, custodians, teachers, and aides. Next, they brainstormed their topics and created prototypes of all their amazing ideas. Students learned that the first step to reducing their impact is through reusing rather than recycling. In science, sixth grade chemists are learning about matter and signs of chemical reaction during their sixth grade elective. Second graders are using screens to separate soil to better understand what it's made up of. In PE, fifth graders had the opportunity to choose a leaders in training elective where they created cooperative games and activities for K through third grade students. K through third grade students loved working with their upper grade mentors. Kindergartners are working together to track and catch a bean bag before it touches the ground. In art, there were, this year there were fifth grade elect electives fourth grade tab studio, skill sessions to support design thinking, and an overarching em emphasis on studio habits, habits of mind that are nurturing, mindful, and on authentic artists. In technology, students in the sixth grade advanced coding elective were hard at work designing and creating technology. Students were given choices as to what they wanted to learn about and what they wanted to create. Students chose to create apps, make games in Scratch, learn about coding a new coding language such as JavaScript, Python, or CSS, or complete advanced coding courses on Code.org. In music, students learn to play melodic themes and chord progressions from works of music by composers of various genres. Students played rhythmic patterns as an ensemble while classmates sang a traditional song from Africa. And now we have taken you from the weeks of now to the weeks of wow at Sycamore Ridge. We, we hope, hope you enjoyed the show.